So in this video, I'm going to expose free stocks, what makes them cheap and whether they are cheap enough to buy right now. But first, let me quickly explain why I think these stocks could be worth buying. Obviously, all of these cheap stocks are priced at lower than the market and the industries that they operate in. All of these stocks also have double digit profit margins and each of them have minimal debt on the balance sheet. Furthermore, every stock on this list pays a conservative dividend with an attractive payout ratio. So, what are these stocks? Well, the first company is listed on the NYSE and operates as an offshore drilling contractor for the oil and gas industry. They've had some troubles in the past, notably management has made some operational errors and has actually led to the former parent company going bankrupt. That said, today the business has a new management and is well placed to rebound from cyclical lows. Year to date, this stock is up 17% but remains an attractive price to earnings ratio of 12.6 times. It has high profit margins of over 19% and as of Q3 it saw an increase of 128% year over year in revenue and 138% year over year in the earnings per share figure. This stock may interest dividend growth investors with a dividend yield of 3.8% but a very low payout ratio of 20%. Oh and as of October this stock has a back log of contracts were four point seven billion dollars which is compared to the market capitalization of six billion dollars my dcf valuation suggests a fair price of fifty three dollars and seventeen cents the ticker symbol is knee and the stock name is noble the next stock i have for you is listed on the FTSE 100 and it makes money through selling fancy clothing and accessories it has stores across the world but also sells its products online Whilst this stock is down 14% in the last five years, investors have missed this one big factor that I think could drive shares much higher. This company has a price to earnings ratio of 11.7 times. Sure, it is marginally higher than the UK market average of 10.8 times, but it is much lower than its historical five and 10 year averages. If we consider that this company has a ROYCE of 22%, profit margins of 15.8%, and earnings per share growth in the last five years of 55%, then I think this stock looks pretty cheap. Maybe in 2023, dividend investors weren't happy with the lower yield of 2%, or the slowish 10-year CAGR of the dividend of 5.65%. But it has paid dividends consistently, and in fact, it has paid a dividend in 19 out of the last 20 years. Today, because the stock has fallen from its highs in April 2023 by 42%, this dividend yield actually sits closer to 4%. Investors might also knock the slow revenue growth since 2019 of 14% and suggest that its best days are behind it. That said, the impressive free cash flow growth of 85% in the same time is something that should be considered. I think when we analyse the improved efficiencies and combine this with more share buybacks that this free cash flow per share figure could certainly drive shareholder value given its 98% increase in the last five years. Therefore, I think a fair price for shares of BRBY or Burberry is £18.82. By the way, you can now request a stock analysis on the channel by clicking the link in the description down below, so make sure to do that. This next stock is listed on the NASDAQ and makes equipment that helps computers talk to each other, connecting people and the internet. Now, this company has a very strong set of fundamentals, and I think most investors are overlooking this stock. In 2023, the business is very profitable, with margins of 22.1%. It also has a respectably high ROYCE of 22%, which is actually above the 10-year average. Although earnings have only grown by around 8.5% in the last five years, it's actually worth keeping an eye on the book value 
you, which has actually creeped up by 22% due to a reduction in debt. Oh, and an investor may enjoy a very consistent dividend with a yield of 3%. Sure, you may have some concerns over the higher 50% payout ratio, but in the last 10 years, it's managed to grow its dividend by a compound annual growth rate of 7.9%. Oh, and the payout ratio in this time has only increased by 3.8%. However, the true value of this stock is not in the dividend, but actually in its consistent cash flow generation. With a price to free cash flow of 10.3 times, it's cheaper than the 5 and 10 year averages. When combined with share buybacks, it's seen the share count reduced by over 20% in the last 10 years. That said, there is one big red flag that is impacting this and may stop you from buying shares of this stock. If we consider that operating cash flow has increased by 26% in the last five years, then why exactly has stock compensation increased by 50% in that same time? Based on a discounted cash flow valuation, shares of Cisco, I believe to have a fair value of around $45.65. But perhaps you're interested in an even more cheaper stock. Do I know of any other good cheap stocks? Well, yeah, click here to learn about this UK stock that's oversold.